So I don't know how information travels in prison. I don't know what they be talking about in jail. But apparently, Way Wilson found out that all of these phone calls are being aired on YouTube. <laughs> Surprise. You know what I mean? I mean, it's been so long. But apparently, this is news to Wade Wilson. So we're going to go ahead and check this thing out and just get his response about this. But I, I have a feeling that he's going to take the Paul Ferguson route and be like, oh, they're using my likeness to make money, and, and we can sue them, babe. I bet you. I bet you so much, because apparently that's a trend with prisoners when they find out that YouTubers and, you know, just regular people are releasing content that they have that they think is, like, private for some reason. But anyways, let's go ahead and check this thing out. I'm super excited because, you know, I always love it when they start bitching about YouTubers. That's, like, my favorite shit, but... Anyways, grab the popcorn, grab the drinks, anything you need. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. Hi, baby. Hello? There's a, Hi, can you hear me? There's a date smacked on this thing. Estimated date, August 9th. They're, they're catching up to us, man. They're, we're, <laughs> our transgressions are catching up with us, folks. They might come after us. <laughs> Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I could hear you dialing last time. I just couldn't hear anything else. Um, yeah. But just as a heads up, I only have like a dollar something left on this phone, so you'll have to call the other number after, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, what are you How doing? You Not that um, great. What are you doing? uploaded Courtney's video. So nice. watching it. Good. We're just monitoring all the comments coming in now. Been some pretty nah. good ones so far. Yeah, been some pretty good ones so far, but uh, they're going to get a continue. It's funny how she says she's monitoring the comments like she's this big fucking spy or some shit. Yeah, we're monitoring the comments. If something bad comes in, we're going to pounce on it and delete it as soon as possible. <laughs> you know what an echo chamber is? Th this is what they're doing. They're creating an echo chamber. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. As long as you're a psychotic, crazy woman, join our group. Fuck all the, the hate. That's what they call it. You know, fuck all the haters. You know, the people who are concerned about this man killing two people. Fuck all those people. Let's just stay in this little echo chamber. I mean, there's only like already like a thousand views. And we are we only posted it like, not, like maybe 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Um, I do want to give you a heads up, though. Your piece of shit biological father did an interview. So no. I haven't reviewed it or anything. Yeah, he did. Because he wants piece of the clout, just like every other person, because he's a piece of shit. Um, but I just wanted to give you a heads up ahead of time. We, uh, I just had it sent to me. Had it you know, Jesse is more poisoned than Kristen. You know what I'm saying? At least Kristen was like, no, you should have a relationship with your dad, this, that, and the other. Jesse don't give a fuck about Wade Wilson's mental health. She's like, yeah, you're a piece of shit, dad. Fuck him. Fuck all those girls. Fuck the YouTubers. Fuck everybody. They're all horrible. Just like how, you know, she's fueling his same sentiments. This lady is poison, bro. Crazy. She's calling him, she's calling his dad a piece of shit more than Wade ever has. Like, respectfully, who the fuck are you? You know, how, how do you know this for sure? But I'm sure we're going to probably do something with it. Because fuck, yeah, fuck, fuck that dude. Yeah, Because fuck that dude. See, she's trying to amp him up. This lady is in it for the money, bro. She, I, you know what? The more I listen to Jesse, because we heard those calls previously, she's money hungry. She she might not even like this guy for real. You know how all these other girls are getting tattoos and they love him and they're saying all this stupid shit? She might not even fuck with him for real. Part of your life, yeah. fuck that dude. He's a piece of, is that what he's acting like? Well, I mean, I'm assuming so. I haven't watched it yet. I'm probably going to watch it later, like, after your phone is off, when I can, like, just chill. But I'm sure that's what it is. He's looking for the fucking clout, acting like he fucking knows you, like he was in your life. Right. He's never he's been in my life anyway. Hey, no, fuck listen, that dude. Who did, he, who did he do the interview with? Jump, this, guy jumpsuit, this guy jumpsuit Pablo, who's been a fucking problem for us. Like, not a problem. Um, but he's just some dude who's just being a fucking asshole about shit, like... I can't wait until we just prove all these fucking people wrong. I can't wait until we prove all these people wrong and we're gonna rub it all in their faces. Is Jumpsuit Pablo the guy that's been releasing, releasing the phone calls? No, that's so that's uh, phone calls from prison, but they're working with Jumpsuit Pablo. At least they're not as you know as delusional to think they could take it down. But hey, babe, we're gonna prove them wrong. We're just gonna prove them wrong. 
he's just an asshole who says things like what <laughs> he's just saying it how it comes like what the fuck this shit you can't even make anything up the content makes itself you know what i'm saying you guys are fucking morons especially jesse like damn jesse imagine how exposing your entire family to the whole internet just because you want to have some weird fascination with a prisoner Psh, i hope that 25k was worth it nah yeah and they did release another uh, another audio tape as well i don't know how how new it is i'm gonna have to wait and, and review it later um, she's was- going to have to wait and review it later like she's a lawyer. Lady, shut the fuck up and go home. Jesus, go turn on the TV and go watch something because clearly you're in too deep. <laughs> she's going to go review it later. Okay, you're going to put the glasses on and fine tooth comb everything? What the fuck are we talking about? For some form of interview. So I don't know if it was from like your interview initially with the media or All right. so anyways back to my dad uh who is this jumpsuit pablo guy um he's just some fucking troll who's just been covering your case that like thinks he knows shit he's not even fucking worth the breath of air like he's not he thinks did my he knows dad, everything about this shit. did my dad meet with him in person um no it was virtually yeah 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 but this is why I got one get gotta get one from your actual parents if they're open to it which I'm looking at flights for early next week um, I wanted to go this weekend, but I'm not going to be able to. So I'm looking at them for early next week. Okay. Yeah, but, but I'm going to be honest. Like, for, anyways, um, no, nah, I feel like we're moving a little too slow, though, on things. Okay. So we need to what really probably to hire. We're going to have to hire somebody. Like, I know. I, don't, I followed back up with Kelly, and she sent me the script that she's going to be doing. I'll continue to do research on it tonight, though, too, and see if I can find somebody for social media. I mean, she's calling him a troll that thinks he knows everything. What the fuck? But giving an opinion? You know who the troll who thinks that who thinks she knows everything is? Is Jesse? That's exactly what she is. She's a little troll who don't know nothing, who thinks she's smarter than everybody. Do you get that vibe? She feels like she she has the higher wits above Courtney or Kelly and all these. You know, she thinks she's smarter than Wade. And I mean, granted, she probably is. But um, she's just a regular girl thinking she's all that. This shit's hilarious. She's literally what she called him. A troll that thinks she knows everything. Let's be real. What we're doing is good. But we're taking way too long. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think like Courtney's video, yo, that shit was like two weeks ago, and I know it's a lot, but then we drop it. I mean, we're today's tomorrow's the tenth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think we're doing. I'm not saying we're not doing enough, but I don't think we're doing things we quick faster. enough. I understand. I do Way understand faster, so honestly, because shit, we're dropping shit like once a week that it really hits, and that's not gonna work for the 27th, yeah. like. I get it, baby. Today's All right, week. I will move. I'll get with the team and I'll move quicker. I will find a social media person. I will. I'll Listen, find we can't people. rely on Kelly or Shannon to help us move any faster or Brooke to help us not yeah, to help us right. like move much quicker. I know. I gotta take it in my like, hands. I'm sorry. I mean, they're okay, good. They're good. They're good, but they're turtles. Again, see, she's smarter than everyone. I'll take it in my hands. You know, you you can't get them to do it. You do it yourself. I'll take it in my hands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will. Okay. What a fucking, that's the perfect word for hers. What a fucking troll. What a sad little troll who thinks she knows everything. This is the type of person who in the household, you have to do everything her way or you're wrong. It doesn't matter if it's correct, wrong. If it's not her way, you're fucking wrong. She's probably like that in all her relationships with her family members. Everybody just knows how Jesse is. So just let Jesse be Jesse. You know, that's, she's that family member. To be honest yeah. with you, like for what we're trying to do, and we only got, and then we got fucking Val. I mean, she can't do every goddamn thing, and mm-hmm. that's the reason why it's going so slow. Yeah. You know. All right. Uh, I'll be on. I'll something. get on it. I'll get like, on it. Not like tonight, like now. We'll no, good. I know, baby. I'll, I'll be on it. I promise. I promise. <sighs> I'll have someone by tomorrow. What is that person going to be able to do? Wow, this guy is talking like he's an exec to the fucking company. What what is that guy going to be able to do? Huh? Bro, you're in shit, bro. I would have told him to shut the fuck up and talk to me with some respect, bitch. I have all your accounts. Talk to Remember even earlier in the call, he was like, "Okay, so back to my dad." 
You know, he was all all catty with it. Okay, so back to my dad. What did he say on Jumpsuit Pablo? That's what I want to know about, okay? What a sassy little bitch, bro. Get it done, like, tonight. Like, it needs to be done, like, tonight. That's a sassy bitch right there, if I haven't seen one myself. Um, helping to find someone who can help with the social media and editing content to help bail out, especially since she doesn't know what's going on with, like, all the, the war and shit over there. We got to have somebody, so I'll find them by tomorrow. I promise. Yeah, we're moving way too slow, baby. I love you. We're moving way too slow. Way too slow. Mm -hmm. It's hard because I'm in my fucking busy season for work, and they've been fucking jam-packing my goddamn schedule and literally so much. I'm like, I just wish I could fucking quit my job or take a sabbatical. I know, I wish I could just fucking take a sabbatical. Like, she wishes she could quit her job or take a sabbatical or whatever the fuck. That, I'm sure that means the time of leave. Oh, my God. It's one thing tanking your career for someone you love. It's another thing tanking your career for somebody who doesn't give a fuck about you. It's so hilarious. And I hope she quits. Please quit. Be fucking homeless for this. I don't even care. Be fucking homeless. Like, at this point, give them everything you own. Put your house up for another mortgage. Take out a whole bunch of money. Give them everything and just go homeless. This lady says she wishes she could leave. She could just quit to help him. You deserve that then. I hope that happens for you because that's what you deserve. I, I'm praying for you that that happens for you. I fucking can't because I'm going to lose my job. But um, I think I'm going to look at my schedule and see if I can block it next week so I have some dedicated time to really be able to. And then this weekend I'll be focused all in on it. So I'll find someone by tomorrow, baby, I promise. Are you, uh, did Ari reach out to you? No. No? I think she said call her seven. Somebody call her seven. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, no, Barry's I mean, flight will be landed by he that. He is feeling the pressure, bro. All his little, he is feeling the pressure. When all these women disappear, when stupid fuck Jesse disappears and Kelly and all these little weirdo fucking females run out of money and can't do nothing no more and he's all by himself, I don't know if he's safe by himself, bro. He might start doing some, some things to himself. To no longer exist, you know what I'm saying? Because I promise you, he's feeling it right now. He is feeling it. He's mad. He's sad. He's regretful. He's angry. All that shit. <laughs> and you can feel it. So as time progresses, the little jokey, jokey Wade Wilson kind of just disappears a little bit. And that's why. I'll wait till like 7, 7, 15, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love you. I hope you're not upset with me. I am upset. We're moving way too goddamn slow. Yeah, no, I am upset. We're moving too slow. I've been saying this for a minute. Like, too slow, man. Too slow. Brooke's not doing shit. Shannon's not doing shit. Kelly is good. Valerie's great. But we're moving too slow. We don't have... I mean, if these lawyers are what we got... Listen to what I'm saying. If these lawyers are what the fuck we got... And we need to use some of that goddamn money and fucking hire somebody who can fucking put us on front street. Because yeah. right now we're battling with fucking jumpsuit fucking Pablo. And we're fucking over here releasing some bullshit once a fucking week. And it hit. Oh, you're not battling with jumpsuit Pablo. You're not battling with me. You're not battling with nobody. You're not. Listen, you're, that channel is so fucking dead. That channel is so fucking irrelevant. You're not battling with jumpsuit Pablo. The fuck are you talking about? Phone calls from prison and Jumpsuit Pablo alone push your video deep into the fucking depths of the algorithm. You don't fucking exist, bro. You just don't. That's just the facts. You're over here. You, you're competing? You don't exist. The fuck are you talking about? That shit is hilarious to me. What is there? Somebody put in the comments their bullshit subscriber count. It's all inflated with fucking weirdo, psychopath, crazy women. You know what that means? Those numbers aren't real, bro. You think they're going to tune in and watch your little movement every day? It's not going to happen. <laughs> Let's back that shit up. Competing with jumpsuit? No, brother. I don't know if he doesn't understand how the internet works. Maybe he's been in jail for too long. Maybe he's just too fucking stupid. You don't exist. Compared to the channel. You're so deep. That shit doesn't pop up. We have to look for that channel. 
as a goof. Somebody who can fucking put us on front street, because yeah. right now we're battling with fucking jumpsuit fucking Pablo. And we're fucking over here releasing some bullshit once a fucking week. And it hits, and then fucking we're out. And I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, people love it. Yeah, sure they do. But I'm going to be honest, if we were moving faster and going harder and doing more, more production, people would love us way more. People love us, yeah, when we drop some shit, but whatever the fuck that is. People would love us way more. Like, so much more. Like, girl, so much. I'm just, I'm hearing all his femininity, bruh. It's oozing out. And I mean, let it shine, bruh. Let it shine because that's who you really are now. It's just hilarious how bro is really out here snapping on Shorty. Like, he's really out here tweaking out. He's, nah, bitch, you're moving too slow. <laughs> Says the guy in prison. That's wild to me. Mm -hmm. They don't love us enough. Not enough. Not enough. Not yet. The fuck you doing? Wait, Sam, baby. And then let's be honest. Watch, I'll ask you this question. Check this out. Val with the miniseries. Guarantee you another a fucking, the first episode of that miniseries doesn't drop for like five days. And then the mm -hmm. second one, same thing. Dude, that puts us at almost the fucking 20th. Yeah. I mean, that's not, I quick, that's not quick enough. We have yeah. literally so much information, so much to do. And here we are putting out some shit with Courtney in a fucking week. And that's it. About, damn near. Pretty much. Like, close enough. That's about it. Which is cool. But goddamn, we did that fucking two and a half weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's not good enough. He sounds like a fucking director. Like a, a, a video director. It's not fucking good enough, Cheryl. You need to really feel the emotion. God damn it, you need to cry. You need to cry from your soul. It's just, it's not good enough. Okay? Run it fucking back. You know what? Take five. Take fucking five. I need a break. That's how he's sounding. He's sounding real shit. And I mean, I guess that's what he's doing. He's trying to direct a little movie. But listen, nobody's here to watch it, bro. He's over. He, I still can't get over it. He's over here saying he's battling, battling with Jumpsuit Pablo. Bro, you're not even battling with my channel. What the fuck are you talking about? That that shit gets no... Come on, bro. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I promise I'll push harder. Let's just hire somebody. Let them push harder. Yeah. We got fucking, seven, fucking 70,000 fucking dollars so somebody can fucking push for us. We got 70 fucking thousand dollars. Why can't we just hire somebody? Yeah. We've been asking Kelly for a whole fucking week. We're just chilling, like nothing, like it doesn't matter. Tomorrow's the 10th of the month. And we have to sit here and wait on Val, thank God for Val, but we still have to fucking wait. She's only one person. And it takes her yeah. six days, it takes her six days or more to drop a fucking video. Mm -hmm. That's not working out. <laughs> that's not, that's not. Now see if Val had my drive, Val would have a video out she would have a video out every day. I can't help but agree with him in this part. <laughs> and I mean, fuck the movement, fuck Wade Wilson, but hey, he's right. If she was actually pushing harder, they would get better results. But there's one thing that I will promise you. They would never rival Jumpsuit Pablo in a few weeks, a few days, a few months. Like, what are you talking about? He wants to be he wants to be the leader of the story. He wants to be the face of his own story. That's how crazy this guy is. That that's how fucked up his mind is he wants to be the leader of his own crime story with all his little gremlin workers this shit is wild to me yeah that's, that's not good that's not, i'm sorry that's not good. why don't we look up somebody together online right now let's let's, let's find somebody I know. i've already i'm already googling it right now so let you know how you like to take things off my shoulders all right well let's let somebody do that with you have one minute remaining Let's let somebody do that and do a damn good job. Yep. I got you. You want to call my other number? Yeah. I love you. I'll call the I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get on top of this. What a, yeah, right. I love you. Bye. What a sad piece of fucking shit. And I'm not talking about Wade Wilson. What a pathetic piece of fucking shit. This shit is hilarious, bro. Pathetic. I mean, she deserves everything she has coming to her. What a, like, man, I've never seen someone 
kiss and lick asshole as much as I've seen Jesse do just now. I'm talking face is deep. Deep in that ass. Just kissing and licking away. I'm so sorry, my master. I'm so sorry, king. I'm so sorry, God. That's how she treated him. This shit is wild. Like, this is... I would quit my job to help you, baby. Please quit your fucking job. I want to see that shit happen so I could cover that story. Kristen is now homeless shooting up fentanyl. That would be a crazy title. Not Kristen. Jesse. But I don't wish that upon Jesse. I just think she's a stupid asshole. But anyways, folks, I'm going to hit you guys later, man. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in, man. We're on the road to 40,000 subscribers, man. Crazy. It's it's been a it's been a road and um we got some we got some crazy things coming next year too. So anyway, man, I love you guys. Stay inside, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out of here.